Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning from Stampin' with Marcy. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I sell all of the products that I share with you here. I am just taking a moment to load you up on my iPad and I'm just going to take a moment and um, share this video to my um, my personal page here just a second um, I have a brand new laptop and it is a little overwhelming trying to find everything on here everything looks so completely different um, oh here I am so let's um, share, share to a page, um, timeline, post. There we go. Okay. So, um, hi Donna, how are you? Yes, you will be seeing me in Greece so soon. I cannot believe that one week from today, I will be sitting in the Toronto airport waiting for my flight. We are in Rome Thursday the 4th, um, the 5th, and the 6th, uh, downtown Rome, before we head to the Sheraton that uh, Stampin' Up! had reserved rooms for us demonstrators. So, And I don't know about you, but I don't have everything organized yet. It's um, crazy, but there's just so much to organize, especially your first time and you're not sure what to expect. Um, but, uh, and then the work ahead of time too, I've been working like crazy to get um, my blog post done and I wanna, I have to shoot some videos, but I was waiting for my new, my new computer to get um, set up all the time you'll be at the Sheraton. Oh, okay. You know, I wanted to be, I wasn't sure. I heard that it, the Sheraton was a little further from downtown. So I wanted to be close for the, um, the different monuments and things like that to go see. So we um, were downtown for a few days first and then we'll go to the Sheraton. And that's one of the things I still have to do is book my transportation. Um, so I was, I've got such a huge list of checking off things that, um, I'm afraid I'm going to be missing something. Hi, Chrissy. Um, yeah. So what time is it in Australia for you guys? It is 6, 11 PM on Wednesday, the uh, 26th of June. So, uh, yeah, so today I am sharing this super fun card uh, with the Over the Moon stamp set. And this designer series paper is so much fun. It's actually the Dino Roar paper. I love that paper. So I thought that this, this pattern here looked so much like a party pattern that... I um I had to pair it with the these cows and this party till the cows come home sentiment. So just go with the flow. Yeah. Um I do have to do that. Not worry too awful much about it, but I I did create my swaps. I was a little a little daunted by that. Um as I had mentioned last week, but I have created something that I am uh, I'm happy with. So I haven't, I've just got the, the main card done. I have to um, still color. I've die cut everything and thank goodness for my Stamparatus. So um, I've got that, everything is stamped but I have to color them in, I'm using my blends so Yes, so before I start stamping, I just wanted to tell you that I have used the small 
stitched uh, square from the stitched shapes framelits, as well as the layering square dies here as well. So they work perfectly together. So let's get stamping here. So because I just want the faces, I'm just going to, I've inked up the entire stamp, but I'm just going to stamp so that my cute cow heads are the ones that are showing up. All right, so that one, and then let's do this one here. And oh, I see I've got a tiny little smudge. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that because I do not have another square cut two and my little laying down cow yours are done and packed oh you are so organized donna wow i'm super impressed i had my last class last night and this was actually this card was part of the class. So everybody loved the cows. Okay, and then I want to stamp one of the heads on the inside at the bottom of my card here. So I think it's going to be this cow here. Now, I think that this will be a fun graduation card because when you graduate, you party. So, although it's been many years since I graduated, but I seem to recall. And last night we had, uh, it was a lovely night. I was out watering and the uh, neighbors obviously a few doors down had somebody graduating because there was loud music and kids laughing voices um, having fun so I'm just going to find my lid here close that up okay so my colors that I am using are the following move you aside for the moment get rid of that. I am using light and dark old olive. I am using ivory. I'm using the dark soft suede, the dark pineapple punch, the light and dark um, lovely lipstick, and the light petal pink. Now the petal pink is for all of my cow's nostrils. We're not doing tons of blending here. We're just kind of coloring it in, but when I'm using the two different blends. And I hear, I've been seeing that they um, are very, very warm over in Rome and Greece. So... I hope you packed lots of cooler clothing, Donna. It's, uh, it's gonna be warm for us, I think. Okay, so all of my cows are the dark soft suede. So we're just going to color these guys in. It is the long weekend for us. There's a giant fly in here, guys. I'm so sorry. And he's just buzzing right back and forth in my, uh, in front of me here. So I do apologize. I've got my craft room door closed. My craft room is in the basement. And even though it's extremely hot out, I have my sweat jacket on because our air conditioning is on because it's very warm upstairs, but downstairs in the basement, 
where my office is. It's very, very cold. And I actually have fuzzy winter socks on my feet as well. People would be thinking I was crazy. But uh, otherwise, I just freeze. Yeah, so my door is closed because my husband Brad is home. And he's in his office working. And he's on the phone with somebody. And I'm sure you don't want to hear that in the background. And I'm not looking up at the comments at the moment because I don't want to mess up my coloring here. And even though I will not be live next Thursday, I still will have a video for you. I will get one done and put a live not live um, up. So I already have my, my projects created. I just have to film them and blog them. So you might find this funny. My, my husband got, he is a computer genius. Um, he got my laptop all set up last night while I was in bed sleeping. He is a night owl, I'm an early bird. So he got it all set up last night and I was very busy this morning. So I um, did not get to uh, my computer until later. And I had to call him because my old laptop was seven or eight years old. Well, this brand new one I had no idea how to uh, get into it. I was like, help, I have to send out my newsletter. I don't know what I'm doing. How do I, how do I get in here? Where's the power button? Because even though we've had the computer for a couple of weeks, he's been so busy that he hasn't had time. And when he's doing it, I'm working on my own stuff. So. I had no idea, so he had to walk me through finding my icons and all that kind of stuff because I was like, seriously, I have no idea. <laughs> it was pretty bad. So, and then my, um, I couldn't get into the Stampin' Up! portal. I kept saying that I had a wrong password, and I said to him, when he got home for supper, I said that, oh, that's the only one that's got the uh, hooves showing. I said, you need to fix this because tomorrow at 12 o'clock, um, our time, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, I'm gonna be able to order stamp and trimmer blades. And I have about five customers that are desperate to get the new stamp and trimmer blades. Um, so I said, you need to figure out What's going on? Why can't I log on? Because I have to place an order tomorrow. And that would be not good if I couldn't do it because I couldn't get onto my computer. All right, so almost done. I know watching somebody color is not always very fun, but this isn't a huge amount of coloring. And I'm just going with the dark, just at the um, vein of the leaf there. And I'm just coloring over that. All right, so let me see that stamp. I think, yeah, that is, that's part of the hoof. So let's, there. Now, I'm gonna see, I have one of these mono erasers, and I'm just gonna see, cause it's just very light, if I can get rid of that. Because otherwise, I'm 
kind of anal about that kind of thing. If it's not up to my standards, I won't send it. So there we go. All right. That worked pretty darn good. Okay, so let's get this assembled. So I have my silicone craft mat is not here because I had it upstairs for, oh, yes, yes it is. I was fibbing. I had them all upstairs last night for class because I like everybody to have one to work with. And we were also using the embossing paste for one of the cards. So I made sure that I had all of mine up, upstairs. So Chrissy, it is 7.41 a.m. Thursday morning. Nice. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to do Mr. Bull's horns. Just once I get this glued down. I'm using my liquid glue because I love that. It's so easy to manipulate. So I'm just going to, rather than color in the entire horn, I'm just giving it just a bit of a shadow. As you can see, just a little bit there and there, leaving some white. Yes, this card is actually going to be the United States bound. I have a family member who just graduated from Holistic Medical School. So this fun card is going to be headed her way tomorrow. I will go down to the post office and get this sent off. Okay, so I'm going to fold and burnish my edges here. And then I'm going to layer this up. Hi Jessica, how are you? Hi Mary Lynn, how are you today? Okay, so this is Mango Melody. And this is just regular Whisper White that I'm layering it on, just like that. And then I'm taking my fun piece of designer series paper or DSP. This is two inches by five and a quarter. All of the um, product uh, the measurements, the details, as well as the product the links will be on my blog on Saturday, the 29th. Um, so you can head on over there um, to get any of the measurements to recreate it yourself at home to get that supply list. Or if you'd like to purchase anything, the links are all right there. Okay, so now I am going to take my Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to put, I do like my dimensionals, I've told you that before. I go through a lot of them and I will be adding more to my order tomorrow when I order my blades. And I got my newsletter out today. I've got uh, two classes in July. Um, one is a quick deadline for sign up. Um, the follow your art class because each um, class participant is getting a um, getting the follow your art embellishment kit. There goes that fly again. It's gonna drive me batty, I tell ya. 
Okay, so the easiest way to line these up, I find, is I set them down first to see my placement. And then I'm going to use this line here. It's a fairly straight line in this pattern um, to butt up against. And then I'm going to go from either side. I'm going to do those first and then put my one in the middle. I find that is um, easier for me to make sure that I've got everything lined up. All right, so I just want just a little hair showing on the side there. So there's our first one. So it is the um, a long weekend for us. Monday is Canada Day. And uh, we are not, we're home this weekend. We were at the cottage last weekend cutting grass. That was a feat in itself. Um, I don't know if you saw the photos I had posted. Oh my goodness. It took us four hours approximately of cutting grass. Um, it was so long that we had to do tiny strips and go back and forth over it. Yeah, it was a lot of grass cutting. But this weekend, Connor is going up with his friends. So we are home. We said no, we weren't going up because with going, with leaving for our trip. Yeah, that looks good. With leaving for our trip, we, uh, we did not have time to go to the cottage. So we are golfing on the weekend, on Saturday and Sunday morning. We're golfing with our oldest son, Damon. All right, so I'm just going to, I've inked up my party till the cows come home. And I've stamped it on this little scrap of Mango Melody. This is why you never throw out your scraps because more than likely you're going to be able to use these. I keep my scraps right in with my full sheets of the paper and I'm lining it up so that my words are towards the top because I'm going to stick my little bow is going to be at the very bottom. And this is my one inch circle punch. And because these are the bigger dimensionals, let's see if I've got some of the, yeah, I've got some baby ones in here. They're the same. They're the same um, thickness. So like I said, I want to make sure that it, nothing collapses down. So I've got them very well covered there. So I will be going live at some point from the cruise. I can't say exactly when, and I'm going to put this a little sideways because partying, sometimes you're a little sideways if you're enjoying yourself a whole lot. Okay, I have, here they are, my glue dots here, and the way I find easiest I've already ahead of time tied my little bow, as you can see. Um, there's my bow. So I find when it's that tiny, I find it easier to take my take your pick tool and roll up that glue dot and stick it on where I want the center of my bow to be. And then stick my bow on rather than trying to get that little bow on this and then peel it off this is just you need some cows to eat the grass <laughs> yeah <laughs> no because they'll make a big mess of um cow patties and I don't want to be uh, trying to avoid stepping in that 
Um, it just was so, we've had so much rain that, um, and we pay a company to fertilize our yard up at the cottage and we have over a half an acre. Um, we have way more property at the cottage than we do at home, which is fabulous because we live in a neighborhood and although all our neighbors are wonderful, um, I prefer a little bit more space. So it's nice that we have more space up there. It's just a lot of work when we haven't been up for a while to get all of that uh, grass cut. But Connor's up there with his buddies this weekend, so they'll get the grass cut. And then next weekend, Damon and Allie are up there. Um, and then a couple weeks after that, we start our family holidays. So, yeah, so we'll be good. So this is the card. This was my original. And this is the one I created with you this evening. So isn't it cute? It's so cute. I just love this stamp set. It's adorable. Yeah. If you don't have it yet, you really should get it. Now, I also want to tell you that the clearance rack has been updated. So head on over, if you go to my blog, www.stampinwithmercy.com and click on the shop now button. It'll take you directly to my online store and if you hit the clearance rack um, button, you'll see all of these um, stamp sets that have been added. Stampin' Up! has said that they've never added this type of um, product stamps to the clearance rack so there are some beautiful stamp sets that from the holiday catalog that um are there like the trick or tweet stamp set i actually own that um as well as the uh spirited snowman and the cauldron bubble i won't be selling those I also own the Farmhouse Christmas stamp set. It has the framelits. I love those. Um, so if you want to get a good deal, head on over there and check it out. Got to go see you in Greece. Yes, I can't wait to see you, Donna. Give you a great big hug. That's going to be so fabulous. Um, I should probably buy myself some uh, waterproof mascara, right? <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, um, I will be posting some craft videos while I'm gone. Um, I won't be live crafting with you for a few weeks, but I will have crafting videos for you. And um, yeah, I will be um, keeping my Facebook page up to date. And that. And so if you have any um, questions or anything like that for me, and I do have an ordering special for while I'm away, the two weeks. Uh, it'll run July 1st to the um, 14th. So I will post that um, on Sunday I, or Monday, that Monday is the first Canada Day. So I will be posting what my ordering special will be. So that is all for me. I have a whole lot of coloring to do. I will give you a sneak peek. This, the other night I sat and tied all my bows. So I'm just reaching over here to grab one of my bows. So this, this is a sneak peek. This is what is gonna be part of my swaps. This is the gorgeous, 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 um, pretty peacock. Not pretty peacock. Yeah, it is the pretty peacock ribbon. I love this. So it's the pretty peacock uh, color on the one side and the old olive on the other. It is gorgeous. Thank you, Chrissy. We are going to have a blast in Greece. I know it. It's going to be um, a trip to remember, I am sure. So thank you so much, everybody, for popping in and watching me tonight. Please share my video. If you are watching the replay on uh, YouTube, please um, go to the bottom and hit the subscribe button. If you don't already, give me a thumbs up. And um, that way you will not miss any future videos that I publish. 
So thanks so much for stopping by and I will see you from my live on, not next week, the following week from the cruise ship. So bye for now.